How to add USDT to Phantom Hey guys, welcome to this new video and today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add your USDT, your Thether token into your Phantom wallet. So first of all, what you guys need to do is to have an exchange so you can play around with uh, the tokens that you have available. In this case, I'm going to be using Binance because Binance is a great exchange uh, and actually there's a lot of and plenty of tokens that you can use to make the trades. So uh, first of all, what you guys want to do is to find, uh, after you find your exchange, it would be it could be Coinbase, it could be Gate.io, whatever. So, what you guys want to find is your wallet. Let's go into our feed and spot. Because all the exchange have the same uh, dashboard. So, once we are in here, you want to find the token that you want to be sent it. In your case, that would be Theta. But as you can see, I don't have enough uh, tokens. So, I'm going to select my BNV so you guys can, can see what happens next. So, what you guys want to find is to focus after you found the token that you want to send. And focus where it says web trial because we want to send our tokens to another uh, place that would be a wallet so in this case let's select our coin and then we need to fill this information and to fill this information we need to go back into our, our wallet which in this case that would be phantom so in this case I have my phantom wallet added as an extension in my browser but if you guys don't have it on your browser you just need to tap into Google and go for phantom.app now once you are in here you want to select the one that says download and then you select uh, your favorite browser or you can use your mobile that's up to you and then you just download it and add the extension now after you add the extension you want to add your wallet which in this case that would be just with your recovery phrase very easy so what you guys want to do is to now that you have your phantom wallet in your browser go and select deposit and then we want to select our usdt or in my case that i just have bmv token i'm going to select b and v and here it is bmv and then it's going to be generating an address that can only be used to receive solana and spl tokens on solana so so in order to send our coins we need to trade our coins into solana coins so if you go back into your wallet of the exchange uh, after you select your coin you want to select the one that says trade or convert and then after that you just need to confirm the trade so you can go back into your wallet so once you've done that guys you want to focus and look for the solana token which in this case it's right in here and let's go ahead and put again withdrawal so i'm gonna go back into my phantom wallet i'm gonna select deposit and now i'm gonna search for solana so i'm gonna copy this information i'm gonna paste it in here as you can see the network was added automatically as it says solana don't worry about the congested information. Sometimes this happens because uh, the withdrawal uh, might be paused from time to time to clear the backlog. Uh, there's a lot of activity. Just be aware of that, guys, but, but you don't have to worry about it. So then you put the amount that you want to be sending into your wallet from what wallet? It would be from your spot or your funding wallet, maybe. And then you just go ahead and select withdrawal. Now, after you've done that, you're going to see a notification like this one. Uh, something that i just did a few days ago actually wasn't a few solana into my phantom wallet so you're gonna see this one that says completed uh, a few minutes later after you go ahead and go into confirm after you've done that you want to go back into your phantom wallet and select your token that would be solana and after you select it you're gonna see the recent transactions that were made uh, with this specific token and you should see your tokens now on your phantom wallet so there you have it guys any questions you can leave it down below in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this app thank you for watching the video guys and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one